Hi guys, I have another Copic coloring and card tutorial for you today. I am coloring this very cute Betty for you because it is a Friday the 13th today and I thought as it is the day before Valentine's I needed to make a Valentine's card but Friday the 13th is supposed to be like bad luck and horror and stuff so I thought hey the cutest little Halloween image would be perfect for that. So a little bit of a different uh, Valentine's card today. You will also see here that I am going to go in with some uh, other skin colors here after I have kind of finished coloring with some more darker colors. I found out that my E11, after I cleaned it uh, thoroughly again, uh, is a little bit lighter than it usually was. So I felt that I needed to go in with a very dark color to kind of get those shadows going so I'm using the E04 this time but yeah I am gonna leave you here with some music and I will be back uh, when I start making the card <laughs>
and I'm finished off the fangs and eyes with a white yellow roll pen. Now I'm cutting the card base, Bachelor Marshmallow, Marshmallow as always, and I'm gonna use some uh, Simon Says Stamp slate cardstock for my matting, which I cut to five and three eighths by four and an eighth. Also gonna do some fancy cutting here. First we're gonna do the base layer, which is four by five and a quarter. These are the papers from the Dual Bug, bug Love Bug uh, papers, six by six pattern paper. Now, as you see, I'm offsetting the paper a little bit. You don't really have to do this. Um, I didn't think when I was doing this, but um, I am actually going to do an angle. And there's dies out there that can make this angle for you, but I don't have these dies, so I have to kind of figure it out by myself. This is a way of not needing to measure anything and just go by the feel. So again, I'm offsetting this a little bit. I'm removing that uh, layer paper off before I cut so I don't cut that uh, smaller than I want to um, and as you see I'm having a little bit trouble finding which way it's supposed to go but that is uh, the right uh, angle of it and I'm going to cut it down about there it's not a uh, number signs it's just a feel of how it would look pretty good I'm also gonna cut off that end by just at putting that down for a right angle on that little side of that and that is actually the the papers done now I'm gonna fix a mat for this and this is the reason why I didn't do an inside for this card I actually had to redo this because the first time I did it I did cut it very wrong so this is how you're supposed to do it you should line it up uh, at a right angle uh, if I done the, this properly I probably wouldn't have wasted a lot of paper but this is the second try so this is the proper proper way and then you just uh, give it that 16th of an inch border that I already have on my other mats and again, I'm actually just doing this going by feel more than actually measurements. Just trying to get the same border uh, on this piece that I later will have on the kind of back mat, sort of. Now we're going to do some stamping and a sentiment. I'm using three stamp sets, uh, one from Lawn Fawn. This is Ray Riley's ABC. Also going to use uh, this from Simon's Stamp and this from Simon's Stamp. And all of the uh, information is down below. So if you want to know which stamp sets there are. I did stamp this because I forgot to turn on the camera, but I've stamped it uh, one at a time because I couldn't line it up to be as close together as I wanted if I put them all on the same block. And here I cut it down to be half, I think it's half an inch. And I'm taking that piece that I cut wrong in the, which I never showed you, and I'm cutting that to one and an eight, uh, five eighths. I'm cutting that down to four and this laid down to four and an eighth. So now we have all our pieces ready to finish. So I'm going to layer all the different parts. Uh, I'm just using some tape runner to do this. It's gonna be a pretty si clean and simple mm -hmm. card. And uh, I am going to stack these on top of each other to see how I want the sentiment to fall. In this case, it could have cut I could have cut off that sentiment just to make it a little less bulky, but I just choose to glue it down as it is. We are having a card base made of the marshmallow that I cut in the beginning. Uh, it scored at four and a quarter and it makes a standard A2 card base. I'm then going to layer that top layer on top of that card before I'm putting on uh, the batty character because uh, it's easier to add the glue on the back side. The better character I am adding with some 3M Scotch foam tape. 
to and give a little bit of a raised edge and add that natural shadow around the full character and that is the card for today i want to thank you so much for watching if you like it please thumbs it up it means a lot to me if you have any questions use the comment down below below you also find all the details of the card including a link that links you back to my blog here i have annotated two videos that on either side is a valentine's card and on the other side uses a Halloween image as a Christmas card.